was so empty and deep Without a chance I'd reach the peak Not till I met you The night has passed and the day's begun I can break forth with the rising sun Hello guys so this is how I'm stepping out. Okay. Read this my gown. I always forget to put the phone number of this my tailor on the screen. The woman that made this beautiful outfit. So I'm going to do it today. So if you are in Oka, please patronize Miss Ken. Miss Ken, please, if you are in Oka. Patronize her, she knows what she's doing. Okay. From my few outfits, you guys can tell. Wait, check out this one. Check it out. You guys know how much I love free gowns, like very, very free. So, it's also the one that made this one. Liz Ken Beauty. I'm going to put her phone number on the screen, right? So that you guys will recognize her piece. I'm stepping out now for very important appointment. And I'm going to catch up with you guys much, much later. Possibly when I get into the car, I'm going to tell you guys where I'm going to and what I'm going there to go and do. So, catch up later. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another beautiful video. My name is Sandra. If you are just coming across my beautiful face for the first time. So I'm about to leave the house. I'm currently waiting for my husband to come down so that we get going. So I have this important meeting to attend. The owners of um, foundations in Anambra State. I recently joined their team, right? So someone, you know, gave me the procedure to join and I just joined them. They are holding a meeting today and that's where I'm currently going to. And I have my own documents. So like I said before, I'm waiting for my husband to come so that we'll get going. I'm happy that I joined them so that whatever I'm doing will be official, right? So another reason why I'm joining them is the fact that I have a lot of people on my list that need help, but the finance is not just there. I've mentioned it before in one of my videos that I'm going to set up a business for this foundation where I can, you know, pull out fund to help people, you know, to avoid coming back here all the time to come and ask people to donate. Um, to a particular cause people can always get help whenever i want them and need to help them so i'll need you all to support this my new mission right um the foundation is fully registered and i'm also happy that i've joined the anambra foundation owners group so i'm going to go and submit it back to them you know um say who i am introduce myself officially today they are going to call me up to introduce if they allow me to vlog of course i'm going to it's just like an association and i don't know if they are under government but i think it's an association formed by somebody right so one of the reasons why and they usually get help from the government so one of the reasons why i want to join is so that um when i grow and they investigate me because that's what one of the things they said they said they're going to investigate the person to make sure that okay whatever money donated to you goes into what you know we want it to go into so that if the government is giving help i can also get um from it especially with the fact that many people need to be helped but the fund is not there i cannot solve the world's problem i can only do what my finance is capable of doing oftentimes i've seen myself going broke just because of this vision yes i'm not regretting it i'm saying it here just like so you people will know the length i've gone to right to get things done on my own so um a very big thank you to all my subscribers those that i met on this platform that has been so supportive to this vision of mine i am not taking it for granted thank you so much and all those of you that donate you guys always see the hand of god just to show you that this is not just an ordinary vision it's a vision that has been born it is something that god instructed me to do as a matter of fact god told me sandra the day you stop giving and shouldering the needs of others you start dying financially so imagine when your financial freedom is dependent on your financial stability or growth is dependent on how much you can offer to the world how much charity work you do so that's what it is to me right now um, trust me in this in this time and era now if you if you if you start dying financially you are as good as, as good as a dead person so i cannot allow myself to die financially i just have to keep doing it whatever it takes so please um i'll carry you guys along if they allow me to vlog i'm going to do that if they don't that's okay my husband is already stepping out because of how hard times are now i'm beginning to call our widows one by one buy foodstuffs and give them because of how time 
how difficult things are now i go inside the market with the money i want to go and buy something i'll go there and I, I end up sharing half of the money because you see a lot of people begging you see people someone standing by the corner every, i don't know if god sends these people to me let me put it like that because see other people may not notice the person but whenever i see someone that needs that help my spirit will always direct me to that person that's the that's the truth Right? You see people prizing a particular thing. You know that they need this thing for their children. Maybe it's Gary or something. They'll be prizing. You know, one, three. Give, sell for me one, two. Sell for me one thousand. Sell for... They don't have the money to pay. If they have it, they won't be there prizing and prizing and prizing. But they need it. Especially for their children. Trust me, a lot of women and are starving now just because they want their children to eat whatever that is available. And then they will go hungry. It has happened to me during my own time. Oftentimes, I had gone to bed without food. I drink a lot of water, no jua for sleep on empty stomach just because whatever that is left, I've given it to my children. Even, I'm talking about not long ago, I'm talking about four or five years ago here. So it's not um, easy. I keep saying this if you see anybody around you, please help help the person anybody you know that this person i'm better off i can eat three times a day this person cannot even afford one one square meal have a heart of humanity help you must not sow to the Sandra foundation no all the people that are sown to this foundation and they are seeing the testimonies god has been using this platform to bless the life of so many people so when you especially when the person involved is someone that has the calling it takes one thing to give or have the willingness to give it takes another thing to sow on a fertile land i know what i'm saying but many of you may not understand it anyways i'll catch up with you guys later let's quickly run along thank you so much for giving me your ears i'll always come back here to give updates on whatever that is currently going on i'll catch up later yeah half bag of rice then oil but red and granola yeah, like oil this one is spaghetti right yes I think so, it's spaghetti and the uh, seasoning cubes. I think this one is onions. These three pentas of beans. What is this? Okay, penta of crayfish. Tomato and yam. Yeah. It's a little money on top. So guys, over here, Sammy was helping me you know, bring out the things out um, to the parlor because Stella is already around. And you guys will get to see her very soon. So I had to send Sammy to help me bring out some of those uh, food items. So that's our one and only Stella packing the, the foodstuffs inside the bag that I gave her. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Trust me. I just had to pick them one by one and then do this for them especially in this hard time like i always say if you have any video around you please do well to you know give them food even if it's food to eat if you know you're better off the person right and you're blessed with the resources all right that's that i'm going to allow her say hi to you guys possibly when we are leaving when i'm about to go and drop her off yeah see you guys so you guys we have mm. someone special here our one and only stella is in the building um before she says hi anyways i was the one that actually called her I'm picking our widows one by one because of how hard things are now i'm using myself that have a husband the support system to know what other widows that don't have husband are currently going through so i'm picking them one by one hmm? last week was mommy esther this week now stella so i just want to pick them one by one the young ones that are in our foundation so that at least they get food hmm? For their children so i went to pick her up she's currently here smiling remember the last time i went to see stella i was saying her she's so fast she's so fat see her now she don't find shape mm -hmm. by fire by force mm -hmm. short ago shape mm -hmm. meaning this one is not shape through exercise though this shape is not shape of exercise this shape is shape of hardship trust me i know what i'm saying mm -hmm. because someone called me from her compound that had, she's currently struggling with feeding those five children so i had to invite her to come mm -hmm to give her one or two things to support her for being strong being a strong woman taking care of those children alone is not here hmm? me that have husband that is helping me i know how difficult it is with me 
in this time that dollar is roughly 1200 naira to one dollar so let alone somebody somebody man you guys I'm here to drop off Stella. I'm so happy. She appreciated the food and everything. I'm so, so happy. So she has gone to call the keke man that will come and carry the items. She has gone to call the keke person that will carry the goods. Okay. So that she, they will carry the the food stores. Life is hard now. Times are very hard. If you find any widow, if you find any widow around you, please. Hmm? If you if you have widows around you, please help them. Not just widows, less privilege. You understand? People you know you're better off. Help them. Hmm? Whichever way you can, it must not be this much that I did now. Help them. Just help the little way you know you can. Just help the little way you know you can, and God Almighty will not stop blessing you, right? As soon as they finish carrying those things now, I'll just start running back home. I'm so hungry, I need to go and eat. Mommy, give me a Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem. Yes. Amen. I'm blessed you too. Nguano. All right. Gawazien neo. What she doing with this keke person? Guys, I'll be back. You to go and make sure that they are not trying to exploit her because all these keke people here not just the keke people there is a taxi man that parked next to me trying to attack her i don't understand why people love to bully others anyways we'll catch up later guys let me quickly go home and go and eat he will not want the toy now because of this cheering good morning you guys welcome back to the channel we are currently about to leave the house. We are waiting for Danny to come so that we'll get going. Danny goes to school on Saturdays, you guys, because of he's in exam class. So, ah, Emmanuel, <laughs> say hi. What did you say? Hi. Say hi. <laughs> all his, all his own is this chair. He all just wants to see it because I no longer I usually carry him in the front. So, anytime he finds himself here, he would like to. Do all that he was supposed to do all this while. Yeah. <laughs> and and that's see the way he's smiling now. He likes this here. Next year. Okay, inside here. That is that they are light. <laughs> okay, so we have created space for Danny at the back because he's going to carry Chimerick and then when we drop him off at school, Sammy will go over to the back and then uh, carry Emmanuel. So I'm out of the house. I'm going to carry you guys along with me. I'll also be going to the market today. I have my hey. papa here. Let you make her enter. See this boy. Wait, he put on the wipers. He put on the wipers. Oh yeah, my god. He put on the wipers. So I'm going to carry you guys along. Hey. I'll be going to the market. See Chimerica <laughs> blowing horn. <laughs> <laughs> this boy. I'm also going to carry you guys along because I'll be backing him. Let him go to the market. Oluch is very busy. Today is Saturday. Oluch is very busy at home. Like very, very busy. So let me take away the stress of this boy so that she can concentrate. Oh ah, God. And they are currently working at my house. I'm going to show you guys what they are doing at my house. Emmanuel! Emmanuel! Hey! I'm going to show you guys what they are doing at my house. So that being said, let me catch up with you guys later. Sammy is uh daddy is coming. Are you are you going to the back or you you stay in the front? Can't. Okay. Carry him when Sammy when Danny gets here. Can you see? Go, go, <laughs> go! <laughs> oh, let me move my feet out so I can see you. Thank you. 
but Danny is almost here. So you guys, we'll catch up. We'll catch up later, 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 later. See you guys. This is also one of my secrets. In this pot, you have um, pineapple sliced. The pineapple is not too ripe. Then I have about four lemons. Spots that ginger, then garlic. My natural way to detox. I drink this first thing in the morning and last thing at night. It's also very good for weight loss. You can also try it. I just say, let me show you guys. Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to this vlog. I'm recording from the kitchen. This is about two days after my sister left. No, this is about one day after my sister left. She left yesterday and I'm already in the kitchen to do my thing. So I'm going to be making um, beans and corn. Yeah, this morning for lunch for Dana and Sammy. So last week I went to the school. Dana and Sammy's new school to negotiate to see if they can start giving them lunch in school because of the stress of having to figure out what they will take to school every day. Because I heard that their school is good when it comes to giving children lunch. So I went to do that negotiation, but it didn't work out for me. You guys, one minute, let me bring the man on here because he's alone in that part and Nepal just took like he was watching cartoon before he would do a tomo. See the way he's beating from too much playing. From too much playing. to go and take it the way you're making a lot of noise <laughs> have you greeted them have you said good morning <laughs> want to go so that you can scatter what i said them. no way you're not going there If you see the way he's fighting me, he's struggling now. So back to what I was saying, I had to go and pick him up because by the time I got to that place, even he was already standing in that inside the stroller. So this is no longer the time that you keep baby Manuel in the stroller and you say, Oh, I've kept him and I'm busy doing another thing. He will jump out and enjoy himself. He will just jump out and enjoy himself. You're looking for it. I removed his sleep suit. That's what he was looking for. Because there was light earlier and the AC was on, so I had to leave him with a sleep suit. It's still early in the morning, not like that early early. Not like it's still that early early, but it's still morning. So I've not been able to beat him. I was trying, let me see if I can put these beans on fire and at least blend a few things, get things ready for the beans before I go and start beating him. But fortunately, never has taken light, so... To put on that gel now is another thing. We have to pound whatever we're using for the beans. You just prepare and crayfish now, then onions. So, that being said, like I was saying earlier, I am back now to the kitchen. My sister Jenny has left, so I'm back to cooking. See where Emmanuel is. Oh, Emmanuel. See, I have to. Bundle him out so that I can record in peace. So, um, that being said, this is one of the reasons why I don't allow him inside the kitchen because the first place he goes to is that gas. Oh, Nepal has brought light again. I'm not sure if the light is going to last thing. And I'm here dancing, but let me quickly um, record you guys, talk to you guys before I leave. So, back to what I was saying, I wanted to. Start giving Daniel Sammy food at school. But when I got there and I had 200,000 to feed the two of them, hey God! And I was like, is this how much I've been saving all this while that I had to be the one to, you know, give them food? Emmanuel, can you stop? He has come back into the kitchen again. So back to what I was saying, Nepal just took the light again. I went to put Emmanuel in his walker just so I can record. 
My lad just got back. <laughs> he went to do supply and then he came back. Oh, you bought bread? Yep. Thank you. Come on, let's see your fine face. For breakfast. We break as fast. How fast. are you guys doing? We are here again. What if I show them now what you're wearing? No, no, no. They come to no balance. I woke up this morning going to the market. I look and say, what thing I go do maybe I enter this human body? I say, okay. I wear slippers. <laughs> my own would have been my slippers. <laughs> I wear slippers. Zara family, me. Zara family can attest to this because I was only caught with him. With her, sorry. When I was dragging the slippers with him. I woke up this morning as in, in a happy mood. I was happy. I tell my wife, say, my rock up. My wife said, I like. Don't rock me. I say, my rock. She was playing music. I say okay, let's as so at least somebody needs to you need to be romantic as at least do things that you don't even I don't even understand. Which kind of woman I go marry? A village woman. Eh? <laughs> native native woman. I know come on no man on the way we say we they do couples they do. You don't know couples they do. Like you know that kind of early morning where you wake up, you like, oh yeah, baby, let's dance. Oh, I wake up in the morning. But Bye now get it. I can see what they do. <laughs> Come on, dance. <laughs> Let's dance in the morning. You just wake up I'm in the morning. Interested. You just. My wife is not free. I know, not agree. It's now again. Okay. I decided to wear his oh, wear her slippers. Go. Go. I wear my slippers. It's not me that you disgrace. No, no, no. You never hear that saying where they say, eh, say, person with teeth. No be the person. They like, then they shame that the. The person with teeth. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> my brother and my sister. I wear your slippers. Go to tell you, say, I hope you didn't go inside the market with this thing. Of course, now. Nah. Hey, Jesus, now, I'm I'm shame. We, 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 I don't mean like more for us. You want my, my slipper, female slipper from winter. You are Wait, gay. That, people that say you are gay. Yes, I'm married gay. <laughs> <laughs> Get out! <laughs> if you like, wait, now. Nah. Nah, so oh, you are disturbing me. I'm recording. Nah, if you say you she put up, I'll be married gay. Because I wear my woman's slippers, that'll be gay. Yeah? No, oh, Allah. So you me. now, have you your slippers going to market? When, if you enter the market, would they tell you say? Because everybody was shouting, <laughs> was shouting. Ah, okay. Did they shout? They were shouting and saying, "What's in here for little, for little?" I said, "My wife, no, no, give me." This man has sold me for cobble. Say no, I tell them say she no greed give me now. Collect my slippers. My slippers now. I don't understand. She didn't get that. What? Where am I? They go. Uh, Zara family will bear me with them because I was on the call with her when make her rock. She said no. May she give me my slippers. She said no. And she not give me I wear her slippers. So you guys, back to what I was saying. I didn't know I was saving so much. I didn't know I was saving so much, right? Trying to like give my children food every day from the house. Despite the way I give them more, like to make it look good and healthy, make it healthy, right? <laughs> and I was saving that much, two hundred k to feed them for one time. That's five times in a week for about three months. <laughs> it was too much for me, so I told them no. So now I'm still in the kitchen, preparing lunch. Whatever I cook, what I do now is to make it easy for me. Whatever I cook for lunch, I dish out the one they will take to school the next morning, so I don't get to start running up and down, you know, in the evening to get. Um, to cook what they will take to school. So we are here again. Jenny has left us. So we are back in our kitchen. So expect more beautiful, beautiful vlogs from this space because this is my favorite space in my house, my kitchen, because I cook all the time. Because of people in the house and I'm not the kind of person that enjoy buying food outside or eat it out. So my mother does not eat out. That's another thing. So that being said, I'll catch up with you guys later. Let me dive into cooking and I'll maybe I'll show you guys the final look of this my um, corn and beans. The corn I need is... I've actually shared this recipe in one of my old vlogs. This is the corn. This is fresh corn. I still have one cooked in the pot. I still have some cooked in the pot. So what I do is... My Mbaku's corn, whenever her corn starts coming out, this is a very sweet food. Hi, if you don't know corn and beans, you're missing. So I get corn, 
and then we remove it from the stick right refrigerate for how long sometimes i have corn fresh corn in my freezer to the next year's corn start coming out is that surprising don't let it surprise you in this my freezer i store a lot so this one is the one that we have remaining what about, what about another one remaining let me show you guys what i mean i'm going to use it to cook the beans this is another one you can see it's frozen it's inside my freezer yes i remove them from the stick uh, and then we refrigerate anytime we want to eat beans and corn we bring it out and then we use it to cook it just the name normally you cook your beans but of course you have to start cooking the corn first to make it done before you add the beans the second time after washing out your beans right that's when you add it and cook it exactly the way you cook your beans hey you look at any and so let me go into cooking that and i'll catch up with you guys later